machine is the, the one. Google machine. Um, Send it to the internet. <laughs> That's one of my favorite quotes from Cobra Kai. <laughs> Send it to the internet. Yeah, he make he cuts a video for his dojo, and he doesn't. He's stuck in the '80s, so like he doesn't <laughs> understand what the internet really is. So he makes a video and he's screaming about his his dojo and he he's walking out. And he goes, "Send it to the internet." <laughs> Click the bell to join Hashtag Nation. You want to try that one again? I'm a little concerned. <clears throat> Just a little concerned. About? I'm my cholesterol? Me too. I'm a little concerned about the Bills' ability to convert third downs. Because of Dable's inability to guide Josh Allen to throw the ball underneath. You notice that last year, on third downs, he didn't take anything short of third down. It was always way past the sticks. If the play broke down, it was way past the sticks. Well, we, I, we just talked about this. This is what they do to rookies. Well, you, somebody commented... You take um, away the, the, the throws at the sticks. Sure. No, I get that, right? But there was somebody who commented, you know, we should have Brian Dable in the car with us. I was like, so we, and they, so and they said, so they, no, and, and the comment was, uh, so that we could teach him what a tight end is. I was like, okay, Brian, this is a running back. It is not illegal for them to catch the ball. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know what though? Like I've pumped my brakes a little bit on the whole Dable thing because I don't remember Allen throwing a lot to the backs in college and he had a pro style system, which right. is guaranteed. That's your check down. Right. It's not a loss on the play if you do that. It's not. It's not a. The play's not dead. Mm-hmm. So you go read one, two, three, maybe four. Boom. Are not there? Check it down. It's not a loss. Well, is that because Allen trusts himself more than he trusts his running he does. backs? He does, and he sees things right in front of himself. So you. Want, the great thing about Allen is he keeps his eyes downfield. The bad thing about Allen is he keeps his eyes downfield. Thanks, John Madden. <laughs> That's a Maddenism <laughs> if I ever heard one. <laughs> this guy is great. He's keeping his eyes downfield. And that's what you want in a quarterback. The only problem is that he always keeps his eyes downfield, so he doesn't <laughs> see the stuff that's right in front of him. John Maddenism notwithstanding. Right. That's he. It's great that he does that, but he misses a lot of the underneath stuff, which we talk about. So, just as I will, I will, I will say this: I won't put 100% blame on Dable for Allen always running the ball. I can't put 100% blame on Dable for Allen not checking down to a running back. Right. So, mm-hmm. while I'm not completely convinced, I'm not putting 100% blame on him. Right. That's just that's just the way, it, it's nature of the beast. You know, when I was going back and I was watching more of the game film of everything last year, I wanted to get a, a, a bigger grasp on what happened. And there, I did see some guys, you know, we did. We did see some guys open that he could have checked down to or through to that he didn't. But he ends up, he ends up running for 13 yards. Maybe he takes a shot. We're like, why is Dable doing that? Why isn't it? Now, the design runs, you could tell mm-hmm. which ones were design runs that he was doing. Um, it's like I'm driving with my daughter who's texting. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm talking to you and you're texting. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm commenting to folks on our video. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Listen, I have one it job. It was just funny. I have one job. It was funny. No, I have two jobs. One, to make sure we don't go to jail for recording. This has to be illegal. <laughs> That's you one think of... so? Mario, are you what? serious right now? What? We're not watching it. It's not in the vi- in my vision. We have a. Basically, we have a 11 inch television screen on our dashboard. <laughs> like, this has to be illegal. It just has to be. What the hell were we just talking about? We were talking about um, <clears throat> not putting 100% of the blame on Dable and his offense and Allen being able to look downfield. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything you said's wrong. Everything I said was wrong. <laughs> it's all Dable's wrong. <laughs>
It's all Taylor's fault. I'm not objective here. I'm you, not. You love but this train. I know, but it's, see, here's the difference. Dable had so many previous stops in the NFL. You think he would, yeah. That that there's a, there's a pattern here, right? There's just a pattern. And I don't see that pattern changing. I, I just don't see this... But the guy was in New England with the king of chips. That doesn't matter, you know. Talk you don't think me. he could have mentioned it to Allen? I don't. Talk to me about Charlie Weiss. Talk to me about Josh McDaniels. Talk to me about all these OCs who have been there. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> I told. It doesn't you, matter. I told you before. I think we did this in an episode a long time ago. The dude was a tight ends coach in New England, which basically means he got a free check. Yeah, it's like being the quarterbacks coach. It's like being Adam Gase. It is. It's like being Adam Gase. Why do you think Adam Gase looked like that at a press conference? He walked in. He's like, oh, my God, this is what it looks like. Wait, there's people here. In New York? This is people. There's lots of people. Taco. Taco. I don't know what that Taco. was. What was that? That was Adam Gase breathing through his eyeballs. That's oh what I'm convinced God. he didn't breathe through his mouth. That whole press conference. Again, the hate for Dable is, is real for me. It's, it's a struggle. I'm never going to pretend that it isn't. My problem is that I see them with this offense investing in pieces that don't fit the things that he's done before. And that's a little concerning to me because I look at his history, right? And his history has always been an inability to run the football and an inability to get the tight end of the football, right? So what did they do? Uh, so, so what did they inability do? Inability to get the tight end of the football. Right. And so inability they, to run the football. So what they did is they went out and got a bunch of pass blocking linemen and no tight ends. Yeah. And, and a rookie tight end and TJ Yeldon and a rookie running back. I don't care. He's but never used it, a tight end. Why would you go out and get one? But what I'm saying is that I don't see any change. That's my point mm. is I'm not seeing him trying to do anything different by the personnel moves. I don't. I don't. I don't accept drafting a running back in the third round as addressing the running back position. I don't. I don't see that as addressing the running back position. You said it's. You're going to expect that guy to be a significant contributor. Right. You have to because he was drafted in the third round. You have to expect him to be a significant contributor. It's. But it just comes from, from cost. It, that's all it is. It just comes from cost. So you have to expect him to be a contributor later in the season. So second rounder. I mean, second rounder, first or second rounder, you immediately expect them to be playing. But would you consider that? Yeah. Only first and second round is you address a position. Yeah. Okay. Because I think once you get to third, third, I, I think that I think that's a fair point to argue. So rounds one and two, you're expecting starters. Rounds three and four, you're expecting players who will be contributors and could start. Mm-hmm. Rounds five, six, seven are guys that. You're taking a flyer on because there's a red flag that you're willing to accept or you're looking for special teams backup. Well, I mean, they addressed the will position in the fifth round. Did they address the left tackle position in the second? By accident. You know, you name you name a player that was drafted late that contributed, but it was a defensive player. Give me an offensive player who was drafted late that contributed. You can't. Yeah. Under McDermott, you can't. Yes. So, and anything outside rounds one and two, I don't accept as addressing the position. Wyatt Teller. No. He didn't contribute. No. Wyatt Teller. Those are six hard fought <clears throat> wins, man. Those were six hard fought wins. <laughs> However, Wyatt Teller looked looked fine on some plays and kind looked lost plays. and looked lost in pass protection. Okay. Looked totally lost. Right. And that's what you get out of a fifth round but player. Yeah, you, that, you still have to work with him. Right. But that's what I'm saying is why Teller will not be starting. He's not going to start this season. He's not going to be your starting guy. It's so... It's so uh, and it's he's a fifth so, round player. It's so interesting to me that that happened though. Like... You know him and Edmonds met at practice at Virginia Tech mm-hmm. multiple times. Yeah. You think that's why they drafted him? Maybe. Be like Edmonds was like, dude, this dude is he's tough. He's sick in the wrong game. Yeah. But here's the problem. What did the Bills do this season? They got all pass. They got all pass protect and all linemen. High so. grade. No, what we got every they're not everyone can run block, everyone can pass block. They have they, they got guys who were graded high right. in pass pro, pass pro. Which Waddle, 
I mean, you're not going to grade high in pass protection playing with Brady? Come on now. Like, All you got to do is stand there. Uh, who else did they get? They got Feliciano. Yep. I mean. Well, Feliciano's coming over with the line coach. Exactly. So he's got a leg up on everybody. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Who's been? You got the fact spe- that he's playing center is very intriguing. Yeah, well, I, I you got Spencer Long as well. Mm-hmm. You have Morris. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you've got some you've got some positions on that line kind of accounted for by contract already. Yeah. Right? But you can't – having – quoting a late-round defensive player as, well, look at the value they got, it does not equate on this team. Lightning in a bottle. Because you you cannot give me an offensive player who is drafted late who contributed. Undrafted player, different conversation. But a late player drafted has not contributed to this offense. Do you actually agree with me here? Yeah. Your hatred for Dable? <clears throat> I mean, I've I've pumped my brakes a few times. I, I know. know, I know. And I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep poking the bear. There. That's fine. That's that's great. I love that. Not many people have that type of resolve and, and stand by their principles the way you do, and that's great. I just know that, um, and I'm not trying to discount your no, no, opinions I understand that. In, 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 in your in your analysis. What I'm just saying is that I know that if if I threw an incomplete pass on a play, I know it wasn't my OC's fault. All the OC's fault. Right. Was the scheme there? Eh, it could have been. I could have had a bad throw. I could have not checked it down. I could have did. You know what I mean? There's a bit, a million things you could attribute to uh, making a mistake in that respect. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to put 100 percent of it. But you know, I'm not absolving him either. Right. He's got some things he needs to do. 